Hi, I'm Bob Birch with North Dakota State University and the Network Literacy Community of Practice. And I'm Steve Judd. I'm also with the Network Literacy Community of Practice and I'm, my home is the University of New Hampshire Cooperative Extension. It's kind of a place where we can all connect with each other, uh, share information about what it is we're working on and just communicate in an open way with the folks that we need to connect with within the network. You should remember when you're in the Facebook group that this is a trusted environment. You know, feel comfortable sharing your thoughts and what you're working on with your military families learning network colleagues. Remember you're participating in a private group so you don't have to follow any of the other group members in order to be connected with them. And anything you post in the private group won't show up on your Facebook friends news feed. Think of this like a brainstorming meeting. Share your ideas without worrying about uh, being prejudged, build upon those ideas, um, and all of that's gonna remain in a private space. I like to think of it just as a kind of conversation between people. You can share information that you think would be of interest to other people in the network. You can talk about what it is you're doing some people call that working out loud. Just by sharing that information, sometimes we can see connections with people maybe across a concentration area that we wouldn't have thought of if we didn't know what each other are doing. I think it's important to, to think of it in terms of a conversation so that we can think about how we want to post. I like to think of it as like the beach ball being batted around in a sports stadium. You're trying to keep the beach ball up in the air. The goal of it is not to see the beach ball hit the ground. You're trying to loft it into the air, leave some room for other people to be able to hit the ball. When you're posting to the Facebook group, you want to invite conversation from other people. So you don't want to just have a slam dunk. You want to be able to let people have the freedom to give you feedback and to really go back and forth. Your comments kind of keep that beach ball in the air. So when you comment on something, you know, don't comment on great job or I disagree. Flesh that out and invite a conversation to happen based on that comment. The idea really is to build conversation and also build relationships with each other. You know, obviously negative comments, uh, especially personal negative comments, could really undermine our ability to build relationships. It would be a real failure if this became like a bulletin board where the only thing that happened is we're posting announcements that, you know, network literacy is giving a webinar tomorrow. Please come join us and share this. That doesn't invite conversation. You know, the hope is that other people will be able to connect to the information you're sharing and to you and figure out ways that we can work together. It's important to see this not as just a promotional vehicle or a bulletin board where we make announcements, but where we can really have these conversations with each other. Yeah, this is really the first step in building an even stronger military families learning network and one that's going to be more productive and more innovative. So I'm really looking forward to the connections that we're going to make with each other. Yeah, I can't wait to get to know everybody a little bit better. You know, some of us work more closely together than others. And I think there's probably a lot of great ideas and a lot of great work going on that I don't hear about and that we can find ways to work together even more. So I'm really looking forward to this as well. All right, everybody get out there and post and let's start the conversation. Created using Powtoon.